Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. This is Tony, your favorite YouTuber of them all. Today I'm gonna do a durability test of the brand new shiny Nokia 5310 Express Music, guys. I'm gonna put this phone to an ultimate durability test, scratch, burn and bend. And if it survives all of that, I'm going to run over it with my six door limo. I might run over that cut as well, who knows? As you can see, it's going towards, yes, yes, exactly exactly what i need you <laughs> i'm joking of course i am joking guys so this is my 1995 daimler limousine check this out 2.4 tons eight seats and uh i'm gonna run over this little nokia so let's have a look at the durability test first and then in the end the icing of the cake let's go Hello guys and welcome to Looking Project, this is Tony, your favorite tech YouTuber. Since Jerry doesn't want to do cheap phones, that's what I'm here for, Nokia 5310, the new Nokia Express Music reincarnation, guys. Obviously, HMD are targeting you know, old timers like me with warm, nostalgic feelings about all of those devices that we used to have back in the days guys and they kind of felt the banana phone is kind of terrible the new nokia 2720 um, is terrible the 3310 survived my durability test and the 800 tough didn't i ran over it with my limo and cracked the screen guys um so yeah today i'm going to do a durability test of this nokia express music i'm not gonna need the box for that purpose Oh yeah. <laughs> so, in case you want to catch up with my series of videos, I've already done the unboxing and kind of a review of this phone advising not to buy it because 30 pounds for a simple phone is no way to go. Most of those phones are worth less. The Mobiwire Aisha costs six pounds and does absolutely the same. So, from day one, I had problems with the keyboard, essentially this piece just popped right off guys and i'm not even exaggerating i saw a gap when i press the buttons over here you can definitely see a gap and all you gotta do is just put your fingernail over here and just pop it out like that and the glue is really really bad guys on this phone i mean check this out you can still press the buttons but it's like really you put that much glue and and that's it you have to glue it back and it's gonna look ugly so yeah that's saving me i can imagine a little bit of work on the <laughs> durability side of things guys but without further ado let's get it on let's say you've got a you know ring um you're married but uh, you, you know you went with your friends to get a few drinks and you accidentally put your ring in your pocket um and <laughs> <laughs> my wife is looking at me like what the fuck man <laughs> is that what you do no no that's not my wedding ring i mean <laughs> okay so you're gonna scratch it like that a little bit guys with coins or something like that and generally it is fine you can see that it leaves some scratches over here but it's not too bad i mean the screen is definitely all right um, so, we're gonna get my trusty knife over here and we're gonna try to do some damage, guys. On the buttons, of course, they're made of plastic. And let's have a look what's gonna happen if we decide to scratch them up like that. They scratch nicely. By the way, this phone has a stereo speakers, which are not that great. Um, I've already done a review of the speakers in my unboxing video. And of course, as you can imagine, this plastic scratches like crazy guys okay and now what about the? Uh, i mean what about the screen let's see about the screen guys um that's my uh photo over here of the box because you've got two wallpapers and all of them are black so let's see are you waiting for this moment oh man oh again we've got a plastic screen guys and these crutches they're not gonna go away anytime soon let me see how do i turn off phone? okay i'm not gonna turn it off but man you can see the damage to the screen over here is definitely permanent guys the sides over here are made of some sort of you know soft up plastic over here guys it's almost like rubber but it is plastic let me see if i can cut the plus the volume up button yeah you can cut it off 
uh, if it feels annoying to you. And of course, these Nokia logo buttons over here, they pop out just like that, guys. Like the good old Nokia 3310. So yeah, that's one, uh, <laughs> that's one letter over here. And we can draw something at the back cover. Let's see if we can do X. Mm, it's not very nice to draw on it. Something like Express, but it's white, so you can't really see Express. Okay, what I mean over here is that you can clearly see the scratches on this back cover and it's not very nice. Let's see if they improved and put a glass on the camera or they didn't. Nope, unfortunately they didn't, guys. It is still made of plastic and extremely easy to scratch. And you know what's funny? A few videos ago, I decided to revive this Nokia and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a new screen, I'm gonna buy, you know, a housing and that's it. Yeah, but nobody is selling this piece over here for the cameras, which is absolutely unfortunate. So yeah, you can see that from every day-to-day -day usage, you're gonna do a quite a big damage on this phone, guys. So let's proceed with the burn test over here to see how this screen melts. Um, please don't judge me, I've got a mermaid on my lighter, I don't smoke, so obviously this is not mine. So let's see what's gonna happen with the screen, guys, if we try to burn it a little bit like that. Okay, and it's already melted. Check this out, guys. The screen already started melting. So in terms of durability, man, what, what about if we do a little bit like that with the lighter? What's gonna happen, guys? Okay, the plastic turns black and it's kind of nice and glossy now, to be honest with you. Man, I'm really enjoying myself destroying this phone. I mean, how could Nokia put... put especially this one. That's, that's the part that most annoys me. Check this out, guys. What is that? I mean, man. Now, the band test. You're here for the band test, right? Let's see what's gonna happen. By the way, I didn't even have to take out the big boy over here uh, to see what's gonna happen. Actually, you know what? We're gonna try it with this one over here, guys. I'm just gonna remove a few phones over here because there might be some damage to them. I'm gonna leave this one over here. And I'm just gonna do a few indentations like that. Okay, that's definitely good enough, the screen didn't crack, so you can hammer it up, you know, every now and then. But what I'm most worried about is when you press over here from the back, you can see over here that some of the hardware, the main board or something, is actually touching the glass over here, guys. Can you see this indentation to the screen? So, it's time for the band test. Is the Nokia Express Music going to survive or not, guys? Let's try to do it from which side, which side, which side, this side here first. Oh man, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Let's do it from this side first, guys. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, full force over here. Oh, no, it didn't bend. It left a small mark on the screen, but it recovered and it didn't bend from this side. I'm kind of surprised, guys. It's a little bit bent, it's a little bit bent like the banana phone like that. But let's see from this side what's gonna happen, guys. Okay, a little bit more force. Let's see, full power. Oh, okay, and we've got no damage. Can you imagine, guys? The phone is bent a little bit. Let's see what's going on inside. The phone is definitely bent a little bit, guys, but it's just a little bit. I mean, I can easily bend it back like that. Um, and yeah, it's good to go. Let's see. All right. So, unfortunately, this phone survived to my surprise and the screen didn't crack. Although, as you can see, when I press over here, ah, oh, man, it leaves a mark, but it doesn't crack. So, there's only one thing left to do. I'll run over it with my limo and see what happens. All right, guys, so the phone survived, as you can see, no damage to the screen and the phone still works fine. But this is the moment of the ultimate durability test. I'm going to place it over here and let's roll, baby.
let's see what happened with this phone guys the back cover came apart and uh yeah the screen is unfortunately cracked guys it couldn't you know withstand the two point <laughs> almost 2.5 tons weight of my limo the battery is dented a little bit as well let's see what we get over here but yeah oh man i love doing this test guys give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to vlogging project and in the future i might consider doing a little bit more tests like that but man i like that a lot Thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next video. Adios.